Running OBS, the, um, the on-screen video recorder, allows you to record things like Affinity Photo tutorials, virtually anything. A lot of people use it for streaming games. But one of the things that I'm looking at here is you can see behind my image on the screen here there's another image of a, of a fantasy landscape if you like. I can lean to one side and, and um, you can see around there. But the interesting thing is that's superimposed on a green screen. Now if I turn off the image all you can see is the screen behind me on the uh, desktop which is uh, well a little bit boring. Now because my lighting is not perfect here you can also see a few little squiggles and, and, and fractals coming on the screen there but that's okay. I can live with that for the moment. Let's turn the background back on because one of the things you can do with Affinity Photo is create those back screens. Now if I go down and find the if I go down and find the um, if I can get it to pop up there the finder there we go oh and it zoomed over onto the other monitor well that's just hide me right out there downloads I don't want photos I do want and OBS backgrounds because in OBS backgrounds here let's turn on the icons now you can see that I'll over I'll overwrite me for the moment that's okay and you can see I've got lots of images there and they're really easy to change. There's one there I had recently that's all books. It's a bookshelf of books. So by using Affinity Photo, now see that one there, let's enlarge that a little bit. There's another one, that's landscape mode. Now you can see my, my camera down there well you can see that that's chosen that as a background but it's it's stretched it all out of proportion lost my photos there we go it's a bit difficult let's try that one and that brings that up that's that's art fantastica um, I found these JPEG files. They're very nice. So you can you could have a background like that. Now why that's gone to that, I don't know. Let's have a look. Images. Properties. Photos. Unsplash. It's gone back to that. Now that's a... It looks like a bookshelf behind me. And it's gone all out of shape. But that's all right. I can spend 15 minutes fiddling around with that to get it back to the right to the right um, thing. Let's see what happens if I no, I don't want to do that. Is that there? We go. That's locked. Ah, well, that's my silly fold, isn't it? So now I've got this huge bookcase behind me. So I need to unlock the image. And I've moved that off the screen, which I shouldn't have done. Uh, there's the image there. We don't want a bookshelf quite that big behind me, do we? But you can see how I can move the image around there. And there's me sitting in front of a bookshelf again. Now, I really wish I did have a bookshelf like that. Now, to lock that in place so I can't change it, you put that there. But of course I could use any one of those images that are in there. And there's lots of them. Some of my favourite images there. There's a nice bright one. Nice landscape. There's one I modified slightly and used as a background for a part of a, a book cover of mine. There's a nice fantasy landscape. How would you like that out of the back window? Too nice.
and that's it just a quick look at using affinity photo now that's locked in place let's double click on that that's in preview okay now I don't want to previews okay for quick fixes quick preview open with affinity photo now affinity photo will take a moment to come up and you can see I'm still in the background there still talking away here's affinity photo on the way now of course if you want to do these screen recordings let's close that and I can bring affinity photo back onto the main monitor and there we go now it's slightly enlarged but there's water ripples that's a really nice image you could add to that you could alter it you could do what you like with it there's some there's some superb images on that website and they appear to be free I don't know they're, they're based in Russia so how you would credit the artists I have no idea um, never having been to Russia might go there one day you never know but there we go affinity photo creating backgrounds for OBS let's hide affinity photo so I can get back to OBS because what I want to do with OBS is close that down and stop the recording as soon as I tap this of course um, I'll disappear from the screen.